senator is butting heads with a current senator over the use of political action committee funds. NBC 15 Sharon Yu breaks down those funds for us and what this means for Russ Feingold's bid to take back his old seat from Ron Johnson. I'm pleased to announce that I'm planning to run for the United States Senate in 2016. A few months after losing his seat to Republican Ron Johnson back in 2010, Democrat Russ Feingold set up two political funds, a political action committee known as Progressives United and a nonprofit called Progressives United Incorporated. According to data from the Center for Responsive Politics, Feingold's PAC used nearly half of its funds on fundraising and salaries leaving only 5% to directly fund candidates. Senator Ron Johnson criticized this move, saying, quote, he uses a dark money slush fund to pay his political expenses and even pay himself, all while railing against that exact same kind of dark money, end quote. But according to a political science professor at UW, calling Feingold's PAC a slush fund is not a correct label. So I don't think there's any evidence that there was any kind of improper personal use in, in that way, which is implied by that, that strong label of a slush fund. Instead, Cannon says the focus should be on the bigger issue of efficiency within the PAC. Almost half the money that's, that's being raised here is actually going to, to fundraising, which is not a very efficient operation, certainly. But nothing illegal here. There's nothing that you know, uh, is uh, in any way you know, like breaking the, the law. It's just that it, it's not a very efficient use of the money to have almost half of your money going to fundraising. Raising. And in response to Senator Johnson's statement, Feingold's campaign manager Tom Russell said the Republicans are going on the attack to draw attention away from the fact that Ron Johnson won't answer whether he'd sign the Badger Pledge to get special interest money and dark money out of this election. The so-called Badger Pledge is something that Feingold suggested. It would limit the amount of money flowing in from super PACs for the 2016 election. With no word from Johnson yet, the tension is likely to remain between the candidates, and this could be just a distraction for Feingold and his supporters. Uh, he's a, a well-known uh, you know, politician in Wisconsin. Uh, people do have opinions formed of Feingold you know, already. And so this is the kind of thing that, that probably won't change too many people's minds who are kind of in the middle. I think they'll wait to see how the election unfolds and see how the, you know, the discussion of the issues really starts to take place you know, later uh, this year and early into to next year. In Madison, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News.